Hey everybody, um, so I, I'm messing with a Pac-Man board and I wasn't actually going to do video because I don't really know what I'm doing, um, but it's starting to find some interesting symptoms so I figured I'd test them. Um, I might come back and go an overview over like the different components of this uh, Pac-Man board, but basically I have it set up um, to my JAMA test rig and I got um, my Logic Probe hooked up. Um, I have my oscilloscope going, I have, this is what the symptom it looks like of the Pac-Man right now. And this is just a regular Pac-Man board. And what I was doing, I was, you know, I was just doing some reading and stuff. And this this card here is the VRAM address card, I guess. Or this sometimes there's a custom chip here, or it's this VRAM address. Am I right? Should say it on there. Yeah, VRAM addresser. Um, and that addresses, I believe, these RAMs right here in the row four which I had already pulled out and tested in my um, Neo, Neo Lock um, or Neo Loke. So what I was going to do is I was just going to lightly press on this um, VRAM addresser and see if I could get it to change a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> I definitely got it to change. There we go. So I'm just pressing down a little bit on the VRAM addresser and now my maze is completely right. My high score on the upper top and the letters and all that stuff is, is good. So I have like a bad socket, I think, right there. Because you can just barely touch it and make it change. I'm just lightly touching it with my fingers there. And I can get it to change. Now, the symptom that we have now is basically, I think, something wrong with the characters. See, like... I can get it to change a little bit, and I'll probably show the um, a recording. I'll mix in a recording, but look at that. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Let me see if it, there we go. What's the symptom look like now? It looks like they're stuck at the top or something. The ghosts are stuck at the top, I think, is the symptom. But anyway, I'm going to replace this socket and see if we can get that stabilized, and then we'll come back and maybe do some more probing. I thought maybe there was some corrosion on this on this other um, pieces of memory here. I'm not sure what this memory is doing here, so I still have to do some more reading. Um, it's missing a heat sink, um, but they're not socketed and stuff. So anyway, I'll come back and we'll see what we can get. Okay, I replaced out. the uh, ROM socket here, or the uh, VRAM um Addresser socket. Did I put it in backwards? I sure did. Whatever. <laughs> You're supposed to. The notch was supposed to be the other way. I think it's. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. That sucks. Um, but a lot of times, what happens is is uh, the. Uh, I'm trying to think of the right word, but there's a socket basically that these headers go into, and people will remove the uh, socket. And plug the headers directly into the other socket down here and we'll spread it out so that's probably what happened um, is, and so I put a new one on here earlier but it must have already been like kind of wiggled the damage or loosened the uh, original sockets there that's pretty common so anyway I fixed that let me be right back I have some okay so as I'm reading through some of the pac-man arcade uh, troubleshooting stuff what these two ROMs here 5e and 5F control the uh, maze, I think, in the characters. Um, and you can actually take 5F out, and it will show the characters as, like, blocks um, on the on the screen. And I'm pretty sure then it comes to th what the, the manual says, or the troubleshooting document refers to these as a tack ram. I don't know if it's completely accurate, because it calls them 3F and stuff like that, but whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure 2A through 2D... Are responsible for drawing the characters I think or some of them are so and these RAM here are kind of like your working RAM where things are going in and out 
uh, of it um, to, uh, I think they, they don't call it working RAM, they call it something else, but anyway, that's uh, this is probably different than drawing the characters. I don't think these RAMs are necessarily responsible for the characters. I think it comes from here, goes into like 5C, 5B, and then multiplexed from 6A, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then it goes into probably 4A, which is a prom, and then eventually gets into these uh, RAMs as well. So anyway, let me uh, turn it on and just kind of show what it looks like here real quick without 5F being in the system. And it kind of looks normal from a menu screen standpoint. And there comes the characters as blocks. And if we actually, let's see, if we coin up. Yeah, see how the, all the characters are, are kind of stuck on the top part of the screen. And I guess that's Pac-Man down there. And we just got so yeah, the, the yellow is Pac-Man, but all the characters are st stuck at the top of the screen. So we'll see what the symptom is for that and figure out if we can do it. It looks like it's working. Um, I was just messing around. I was reading, you know, some troubleshooting information. And, sorry, I, I can't, whatever. Uh, it looks kind of messed up. But um, basically these RAM down here, 2D, 2C, 2B, 2A or I think the, what they call the attack RAM, and that has to do with uh, drawing the characters on the screen. There's also um, 3F and 3H that have to do with uh, creating this. And um, there's these two counters here, um, 1E and 2E, and the outputs of these are basically like, I think they are like the inputs um, to these attack RAM and stuff. Um, and what they said you can do is you can actually like ground out, um, I think they call it RA, what is it, RA0 through, let me see, yeah, RA0 through 7, which is basically 1E pin 14, 13, 12, um, and 11, and the same thing with 2E pin 14, 13, those are, um, what they call um, R, I don't know, read address lines. I don't know, RA0 through 7. But when I was grounding those, um, that's that's when it all of a sudden started working. So I have no idea why I was do using my oscilloscope. And I, I should put this, on, I don't even know if I want to put this on a tripod or anything, but I was using my oscilloscope to kind of check these counters and just to make sure that none of the um, inputs or the outputs um, were stuck high or anything, and they, they look normal. I even hooked on to another board, um, and it looked the same. So I th figured that the counters, 1E and 2E, were good. So it had to be downstream of that. And when I was grounding out the RA address lines, um, just to see, because you can temporarily do it, and see, you should see a change in the characters. Anyway, like, actually, I'll do I can, I'm going to touch the uh, address, um, touch it to ground, RA, I think that's like one or four or seven or something, but you can see I can move them. Every time I touch them, the character should move to somewhere on the screen. And um, when I was doing that, that's when all of a sudden it started working again. So it's almost like one of those address RA address lines were stuck, and by grounding it, I unstuck it somehow, but I don't know exactly how. So that's it.